So we take it out to our lone Canadian in the field, or in the uh, top 10, Jamie Bruce. Non-scorable. Such a great attitude. I know. He's so happy. No He's just happy to, to be in America. Him. Living in Canada is like living in an upstairs apartment over a really fun party. Loop tubers, Jamie Bruce here, button into this video or podcast or whatever we're glaring at to ask for a very minor favor. Gotta ask you to slide on down, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you a nickel. Uh, you need a YouTube or a Google account or whatever to do it. Uh, it's just kind of one of those things. It's like putting your shopping cart back at the grocery store. It doesn't cost you anything. Nothing's gonna happen to you if you don't, uh, but it's just kind of something that keeps society rolling as it should you know it's it's a lot of work making these videos and podcasts and you don't have to be a mathematician to know uh i'm not exactly scrooge mcduckin off of it so any little bit of uh of love goes a long way so you can subscribe hit the like button cost you nothing again and it'll just help keep things rolling so appreciate that get back to your lube tubing all right we made her down to lake of the ozarks this is the second day of practice. Fished here yesterday after Watts Bar. We had to drive 10, 11 hours up to Missouri uh, the day after the tournament and be ready for fishing the next day. So almost no turnaround time. It's uh, the gears turning into a little bit of a nightmare. So taking a minute this morning just to get all the 13 poles back in action. Big. BMC rugby head there. I'm gonna try this out. I did fish out here yesterday and it's a good lake. It's a lot better than Watts Bar. Um, had a five and a four and I didn't wouldn't have great fillers yesterday, but there's lots of bass in this lake. And yeah, we slid down to 20th place uh, overall in the EQ standings. Top 10 right now go to the elites. Um, so I need a banger here, so. I'm gonna keep doing what I did to catch those big ones and try to expand it all over the lake and I'm not gonna worry about a limit. I'm not gonna worry about a check. I need to swing for it. I need a top 10 uh, just to stay alive. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Got the big G-man poles ready to bark. Um, probably not gonna be doing much spin and rotting this week. Um, and yeah, it's a cool lake. We're gonna go start throwing the top water at the bank and See how she goes. What's up, Maddie? What's that? I yelled at a guy and a linebacker. He's like, oh, it's not me. I'm not him. I'm like, yeah, it says Doc Knockers. Doc Knocker? Doc Knocker. I caught a bag on the diversity. Did you? How big? 7 2. Really? Get him, Louie. <laughs> Guaranteed. 24 minutes took to get here. Got one. Good job, James. <laughs> Wait, start.
That is not the average size here. Usually you have to catch a lot of shorts to get one of those. So. Nothing like jigging for them vertical. <laughs> Start growing, dude. I don't like so. No, that's no keeper. I'll measure them, but I don't like so. Yeah. The usual. <laughs> no, he's a keeper. Yeah, all right. Five in the box. He's that. got his limit. <laughs> 930, 928. Yeah, you don't get that very often. Boom. Yes. <laughs> and new water. <laughs> Look at the belly on that. Yeah. Let's go. That'll eat. Woo. Nice. <laughs> That's a four pounder. You got stuck in that cross cable. The one that comes out? Or the middle one? The middle one. Oh, that was scary. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't going to boat flip them, but. All right, she's day two, at her early, spooling up a extra 13 jig rod for when I explode my other one off a dock. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have some backup, but we're gonna have uh, the Bassmaster Media crew following along today. Uh, they're gonna follow me off, off takeoffs. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I really shouldn't have just looked at the EQ points because I'm back inside the top 10 for the elite cut somehow, even after that nuke of a tournament last weekend. Um, we'll see how she goes one more day, maybe two, flipping on Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. <laughs> He's starting here. <laughs> Amy Bruce, step on up. It's inside the top ten. Coming into today. He's an EQ angler. He's having a great season so far. Five more in your bag. If they go 16, 13, you take over the lead. Looking for 16, 13, and that's exactly what he got. New leader with 16, 13 today. Two day total of 35, 6. And Jamie Bruce surges to the top of the leaderboard. All right, Jamie. Now you got to tell all your friends and family we're going to be on TV tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. The big rig's going on Fox. Uh... There's going to be some joking and some chirping, and it's uh, it's going to be a good time. I like what you said yesterday. You're like, I abandoned some of that stuff that, you know, you've been working on or using all year, and you just went with what you wanted to do this weekend. So far, it's working out for you. Yeah. Yeah, all the fish have been on a big 13 flipping stick and a three-quarter ounce jig, and I had to switch it up today. But I ran a bunch of new water, caught most of them on new water, and we're going to put the troller down and keep the big lund rocking tomorrow. Hey Lube Tubers, interrupting here quick with a product highlight from Reunion Irish Cream Moonshine. Whether you need a nice easy gift idea, enjoy having a nice Irish cream in your coffee around the holidays or sitting in your ice shack or curling up beside the fire in your cabin or just like putting booze in your coffee. It tastes great, packs a little more punch than the regular Irish cream you'd find at the LC. Click on the link in the screen or in the description below and you'll get fast free shipping on all Canadian orders over $49 and it'll be at your door in a few days. Enjoy responsibly. Master Live here at Lake of the Ozarks. Final day action here. Jamie Bruce, your day two leader, carried a slim, slim lead over the competition, and he is 
still looking to get on the board. He caught himself last night on the phone, the worst dock fisherman in the field. So it's impressive that he's had the lead after two days, but uh, certainly not his strength, but something that he needs to get better on, especially if he wants to make the Elite Series, which he is currently qualified for. He's hooked up first bite of the day. Come here, honey. Got us a chunk, Daddy. The rest of the go is they're just half a game, one game, two games apart for the most part in the AL West. These guys are doing some meaningful fishing here, <laughs> yes. Ronnie. Coming down to the wire, counting today, just four days left in the Bassmaster Open season, and only two of those for most of the field are guaranteed. Day one and day two at our next event, guaranteed. The ball's a shot. See it? Out to our day two leader, Jamie Bruce. A little shad nato going on down there. This one. Wow. Oh, she's a spot. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Gotta be 12 inches still. All day long. She stuck me. It came right out of shad nato. Jamie's from that part of the country where they fish blowdowns. They don't fish laydowns, they fish blowdowns. They fish three fives and we're good. And they fish weed lines, they don't fish yeah, grass. Which can actually yeah, happen lines. on this lake. I was looking at a map of Kenora and saw Lake of the Woods Chevrolet, Lake of the Woods Hospital, Lake of the Woods College, Jimmy, uh, mm. Timmy Horton's, uh, the, you know, Lake of the, the Woods liquor, up. and then it said beer store. That's it, just beer store. <laughs> the Canadians are proud of that. This is one also key thing. We talk about the dock fishing, but the brush around the docks yeah, is start to just, uh, I'm gonna just try this, try that, because his bites have been coming later. <laughs> maybe? I'd give that a maybe. A Waymaster probably won't give it a maybe, but get my big walleye board out. Oh, that goes. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. No doubt. Now, that does seem to be another common theme with people sure. from that part of the country. The Type walleye of boy. He's a yeah, walleye yeah, angler, ice fisherman. Boy. Maybe the. He said he started, he's 34, started tournament fishing when he was 20 years old, fished his first U.S. tournament last year. Yeah. Cherokee Lake got third place in it. And then he didn't fish, the, I don't think he fished the Florida event, and then he got 16th at Hartwell. So if he would have fished the Florida event, maybe a 50th, 60th, he'd already be on the elites. Trying to make that happen this week and this year for Jamie Bruce, our day two leader, puts another keeper in the box. He's fifth place, maybe gonna move up, get closer to Andrew Hargrove, and he's sneaking around, making a comeback to regain his top spot. We'll see him fishing and more when we come back. Oh, there was a lot of huge, I think he missed it by 21 points, but he was the first man out. Like it was huge gaps between guys. But now with every spot being an EQ guy, basically in the tournament, right. it's gonna be much closer for points for a lot of these guys. Like a Jamie Bruce on the bubble. Is it getting to that time of the day where Jamie Bruce is thinking about all these it's things? It's been a grindy one today. I think so. It, uh, I mean, really isn't a surprise. Just kind of how the week's been, but. You can go do your thing. You don't need a bunch of time, so. We're not spinning out or anything yet. There's a little spot biting it. I'm just gonna call that one. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of different ideas running through my head. The clock's not really on my side for that. The boat traffic's gonna get big, but I know I'm being stubborn with this jig, but all practice and all tournament, I've kind of locked it. I've got a glide bait hole up around the corner. We're gonna go sample that, and then I'm gonna go run some deep minnow stuff and and just see, there's a lot of extra boats out here. Um, there's another big tournament coming up next weekend, so there's lots of guys practicing and um, yeah, trying not to get rattled about that. But she's all good. 
You say he's the oldest in the field, Ronnie, at 34? And in our top 10? Top 10 for AOI. For AOI. Not top 10 Not today. Because. All right, boss, let's pick up that glide bait. At the same, yeah, is uh, Gussie. Gussie does the exact oh, same thing. literally, if he put on a Gussie mask and talk, we really wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. He does have the boat that I would want to have. Ah, you again. <laughs> I ain't complaining stretching out the suffix, but sure wouldn't mind seeing a buffalo head come out of the water instead of them little weasels. So that's funny. We're on, Ron. <laughs> People kind of refer to them as weasels. That's the first time I've ever heard a small bass refer I'll to I'll sit here and pepper these 12 inches until they stop biting. I guess we treat small bass like I we do catch bad a couple friends. Keepers here yesterday, but AKA weasels. Weasels. He said that little weasel. And he referred to a big bass. All the bass keepers as are a down on the ramp. Head. To be honest, you know, worst case scenario, it doesn't work out. I go back to my job. Shout out to everyone there and at the OCIU that's been picking up the slack for me. Uh, you know, trying to do all these opens and work a full-time job and and you know do the tackle thing with BT Fishing's been been a trying year, but uh, wouldn't trade it for the world. And yeah, obviously my wife at home. Um, I miss her and my dog like crazy, Normie. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, she's getting pretty good at pushing the lawnmower around without me there. So uh, looking forward to getting home and, and seeing her. And This week he's shown up big on Bassmaster Live. Same with JT Tompkins. We saw JT in flares of him last fall. Now this fall he's gone two for two in top tens. So we take it out to our lone Canadian in the field or in the uh, top ten, Jamie Bruce. You notice all these guys are using their front facing sonar some way or not. They're, I, I watch them. They're all watching it. Yes. Non scorable. Such a great attitude. I know. He's so happy. No He's just happy to, to be in America. Him. Just like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> so I have nice been to told this the about Canada. Stick out for once, though. Living in Canada is like living in an upstairs apartment over a really fun party. <laughs> <laughs> Where the AC pumps all day long. Oh, all keeps day it a little crisp. Another one in there. Another bite. Phone up Jamie. And Jamie's having a great season too. Well inside the top 20 in EQ points. And uh, it's been a great week. Yeah. Yeah. No complaints here. Uh, after Watts Bar, I thought I was toast. So I just said I was going to have fun this week. And, you know, it led me where it led me. And. Uh, no complaints at all. It was fun being on live. It's uh, it's quite a sport when you can start out like a broke kid, you know, with a 15 horse tiller and an ugly stick, and uh, you know, in a few years you can work your way up to having a full lineup of 13 fishing rods and a brand new Lund on Fox Sports One. This outdoor content has been brought to you in part by Nordic Point Lodge. Located in northwestern Ontario, Nordic Point Lodge offers some of the finest fishing Canada has to offer. Whether you're looking for a family-friendly getaway or a corporate retreat, Nordic Point Lodge has you covered. They offer a luxury outdoor experience with five-star service. Check out the description below for more information.